Chow Chin Chow, Stuart Beats Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon uh, Sapphire Randomized in the Socket. In the last episode, we took down the uh, seventh gym and we received our mind badge from Tate and Lisa. And it was an easy battle. It was a very easy battle. But the end again, Tate and Lisa in Ruby and Sapphire and Aures are actually probably the easiest gym you'll face, despite the fact that they're the seventh gym leaders. You wouldn't think they're that, you'd think they're quite hard, but they're not that hard, they're actually quite easy. In Emerald, they're hard. In Emerald, they're one of the hardest gyms in the game. But I think it's probably something to do with their uh, mons they have in Emerald. The uh, fact that they have that clay, it's probably the clay doll that makes them harder in Emerald, really. And um, because the Natu doesn't really, the Zatu doesn't really do much for them. Uh, the yeah, it's probably the clay doll. It's probably the clay doll that makes them really hard. I mean, the uh, the Soul Rock and Lunatone don't really help as well. It's got to be the clay doll. It's honestly got to be the clay doll. If you don't know how to deal with clay doll, clay doll will destroy you, really. I have lava cookies, so I'm okay with the paralyze. Uh, question of the day for today's episode. What's your favorite lock variants? Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite lock variants are. I want to know because I mean I do a lot of uh, Nuzlocke on this channel and I want to try and uh, maybe expand my uh, Nuzlocke knowledge and see if I want to do any if there's any new or different Nuzlocke that I want to do. So there's definite idea. There's def I'm looking at definite ideas for new idea, uh, new ch new ideas for the Nuzlocke on the channel. I really want to do some new Nuzlocke. Okay, that does nothing to you, and I'm not going to be able to beat you. Okay, boom, get in here. Shelters are annoying. Can you live a aura beam? Oh, that does nothing to you, that's fine. Come on, god damn it, it's like you knew. It's, got, it's like you knew, it's like you knew. God damn it, stop doing that. Let's stop doing that. That's annoying. It's like you know I'm going to try and kill you. I mean, I don't mind waiting around and neither does Boom, but still. It's annoying when Boom has to wait around to kill something that he can just kill. Boom just wants to kill you and uh, you should just let it happen. Yeah, Boom wants to kill you, you should just let it happen. You shouldn't have to deal too much. I don't really know my, like, I'm trying to maybe try a few new things for this uh, place, but I don't really know my, I know my way around here. I know exactly what I have to do to actually uh, get to where I need to go, but like, I, I want to, I want to run around this place. I never actually get a chance to actually see what's in the C4 cabin other than what I'm actually doing. So yeah, I want to kind of see where I'm going. I want to see more stuff. I want to try and face more of these uh, team applicants here. I want to see if there's other things I can do here. Oh, it's a Pichu. Uh, body slam. Ooh, the charm. Ooh, that's nasty. That's nasty. I'm paralyzed. I can't move. The sweet kiss. I am paralyzed. I am fu I am parafused and I am charmed. Everything's against you today, Queenie. Get out of here. All right, let's see if we can uh, get this switch off. Don't predict the switch. Please don't predict the switch. Don't predict the switch. Don't predict the switch. Don't. Oh, thank you for not predicting the switch. Uh, Tailwhip doesn't really do too much. That's why I'm saying he didn't predict the switch. Because if he'd gone for something like uh, Sweet Kiss, he would have predicted the switch. Or Charm, he would have predicted the switch. I can stay in on a Slugma. I can stay in on the Slugma and go for that Choice Banded Strength and it'll do a serious amount of damage to, uh, to uh, Slugma. See, look at Taz doing damage. Like, Taz has been amazing. Ever since I found that Choice Band for him, he's been absolutely amazing. And, and this is just, this is just Onslaught. I mean, that's a crit. Oh my god, I don't even ever needed that. I'm not going to count it to C, but like, I probably didn't need that. I probably did not need that crit. That was a probably a thing that I did not need. I'm definitely okay with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely, definitely okay with it. Is there anything up here I need to do? Smash this rock. Uh, 
put strength up here. Did I just go round in a massive circle? I did, didn't I? I thought I did. Um, is there anything here? Yeah, let's go up here. And push that up and then across. There we go. I did go around in a massive circle. Yeah, I can't hit that. Uh, from this angle, but I can hit it from this angle, and of course I can just smash this rock and then go across there. I know in auras this is where you get the TM for Scold, but this is not, you know, this is not auras and Scold is a fifth gen move. Scold is amazing, by the way. I love Scold. It's a good, it's a really good move. That's not useful at all. Thank you. That's annoying. Okie dokie. Oh, I see where I gotta go here. And here? No, not there. God damn it. Now I'm gonna run into encounters. I could have found an Abra here. Why weren't you here before? You would have been amazing. I, you're still paralyzed? I need to do. I probably should be giving you a lava cookie, shouldn't I? Yeah, take this and. Take this and stop being paralyzed, please. Because it's annoying. And I'd really like you to start being out. Uh, I'd start you to like being amazing again. But you were amazing in the last episode. We're going to find another water. Uh, ferret. Not interested. I know people, a lot of people like ferrets. I'm not interested in ferret. I am definitely not interested in ferret. That is not where I wanted to go. Okay. I'm not sure how I understand. I'm not sure how this puzzle works. Uh, go up. And across. And there we go. Okay, so we are up here now. Uh, is there any way to do this strength rule puzzle? Because this looks hard. This one looks hard. Uh, and go up. I don't want to. I didn't want to do that. Roselia? That would have been pretty cool to pick up. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool to pick up. But sadly, no. Uh, sadly, no Roselia. Okay, so we're going to face our. Uh, we're going to face the person who thinks we're so cute, we're disgusting. We're going to face. Uh, what's it? She's an Aqua Admin. Shelly! That's it. Shelly, who's analyst Stacy in this game, has a Houndoom. Double kick. Actually, that did a lot of damage. Not bad. I can live a bite. I'm quicker than you. And now you're poison pointed. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. And kick. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to answer today's question of the day now. Um... My favourite lock variant is actually randomizing those locks. I really do enjoy them. They're, it's really interesting to see what uh, what the randomizer is going to bring out in randomizing those locks, and it's actually a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with randomizing those locks. I also like egg locks because the uh, fact that you get your comment section. Well, I don't get really too much out of my comment section, but you know, most people I kind of do in a way. You can get a lot of your comment section, and it's basically the. Um, Basically, it's your, you and your comment section working together. It's what your comment section wants. It's what your subscribers want to send you, and that's really cool. So, I actually really like egg locks too. Elimination locks are kind of, kind of cool as well. This is a this is a rather interesting puzzle. If I remember how it works, I need to. Oh, did I do it wrong? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I actually remembered how to do it. I actually remembered this. I could do it this way. Doduo is fine. Run away. Up here and across. There we go. Cool. And this is where you, this is the room where you'd find the TM for Earthquake. But, you know, this is a randomizer. Not going to happen. 
So there's no, uh, uh, well, actually here would be the TM for Earthquake. TM 18. Uh, I guess it randomizes TM numbers as well. TM 18 is what exactly? I want to know what TM 18 is. TM 18 is Wish. Who can learn this? Because it actually be a really cool. Oh. A lot of people can learn it. I kind of want to give it to uh, Yo Yo. Wish Hitmontop. Now it's an interesting combination. I mean, Hitmontop's kind of bulky, so he could take the hits. He could take a hit to do it, but I don't really want to get rid of any of his moves. And I don't want to get rid of Thief for your share. I like Thief. So, yeah, Wish is something I could learn. That would be interesting. I might have to look into that later on. For now, I'm okay with not learning Wish, but, you know, I'll have to think about it later on. Oh, it's Kyoga. Uh, hey, Kyoga. Hold. Ah, hold it right there. Foo foo foo. Who so is you after all? Ah, behold. Oh, see how beautiful it is. The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon known as Kyoga. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me that you were able to manage to chase me here. Ah, but it's all over now. In recognition of my dream, you must disappear now. Oh, ah, I'm going to give you a key holding. I actually learned what key holding was, and um, it's not very nice. Let's just say that it's not very nice. You have a lady in. Yeah, I'm not getting any. I'm not getting key hold in this. You're getting key hold. Yeah, you're getting the key holding. Key holding here because I can just destroy this lady. Oh, he's you set up for a reflect. You've kind of made this lady in bulky now. Okay, fine. But uh, actually, protect. Uh, if you set up a reflect and a light screen with Ladian, Ladian's like actually a good screen getter. I don't say he's an actual good. You know, he's actually good with screens. He just can be a bit bulky with the screens up. Can I powder snow you? Would that be super effective against you? Since you are technically, oh, it is super effective. It did actually do some nice damage too. I'm gonna powder snow you then. You're technically bulky enough to uh, live around a few hits, but this should kill. Oh, it didn't kill. Baton pass. You don't have any boosts, but you also don't have any reason not to do it. Kingdra's kind of scary. Especially if you know Ice Beam. If you know Ice Beam, I'm really scared. Needle Arm? You know Twister? I'm not scared of Twister. It's one of the worst dragon type moves in the game. I'm not scared of Twister. I'm going to keep on going. Twister, you're probably faster than me, so you can flinch me with Twister. That's one thing that I know about Twister. It can flinch. It also... I think it lowers defense. As... It has a chance of lowering defense as well. I think. I can't remember exactly, but, you know, I'm fine at this moment in time. Yeah. I'm fine at this moment in time. As long as I don't flinch here, this Kingdra's dead. Yeah, this Kingdra's dead. Nice work, Jonta. Lito, come in with those needle arms. That's been amazing on you. Well, here comes that lady in again. Uh, can I go for the surf? Yeah, I kind of saw the super potion, but I kind of don't see how you're going to do anything with this. Ladians don't learn bug type moves. Yeah, and you're slower than me too, so bye bye. Why do you bring that in? I don't know. Kangas Khan. Oh, uh, yo yo. I mean, this is not a Mega Kang, so it's actually really cool. I think Yo-Yo's got this. Intimidate goes off. You're level 43. That's quite powerful. Rolling kick. Mega punch. Uh, that kind of hurts. Please don't do that again. Actually, that did rather nicely. Uh, can I go triple kick this time? Okay, mega punch. Ooh, nasty. 
But I'm okay. Not dead. Really? Yo yo. Really? Yo yo. Come on, seriously. Kill this thing. Uh, you're gonna heal. Uh, you're not gonna heal again, are you? Because I wanna switch. I don't want to heal, I want to switch this time. Get off the second Intimidate, that would be really cool. Okay. I was kind of worried you were going to heal. But I'm okay. There we go. Alright, cool. We beat Schoolboy Scott. Ah, I lost again. Foo 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 foo. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. I commend you. I rec I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession, because I am blind. Mint. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre go really insane. Suddenly, the red orb the began to shine by itself. As if by magic. Uh, Kyogre. The Kyogre flew? What? The red orb didn't do anything to Kyogre. Uh, where did Kyogre go? Ah, uh, there's a message from outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily. Uh, good. We should have expected that to happen. That's what we wanted to happen in the first place. That's why we awakened Kyogre. Uh, to realize Team Aqua's vision. To expand the sea. What? It's raining harder than you expected. You're in danger. Ah, that can't be. This just can't be possible. Hold your situation. Hold your position and monitor the situation. Ah, something's gone wrong. The red orb was supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But that must be the blue orb because I'm an idiot. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Arg! Why? We. So. I. Eh? So you thought you were. Uh, so what have you bought? That uh, you finally awoken the Kyogre, have you? He. Well, uh, uh, what would happen to this world if the downpour was to continue for all eternity, man? The the land, the world's land masses would uh. D drown in the deep in the sea? Ah, what are you saying? I can't understand your... Man, I can't understand your accent. And the red orb was supposed to let me control Kyogre. This can't be possible. Oh, are right, man. Uh, we don't have time to argue about this uh, down here. We have to go outside and see for you... You have to go outside and see for yourself, man. Uh, see what's the... See what you've wrought this world... It was what you desired. Joanne, come on, you have to get out of here too. Ah, what happened? This wretched, what is this wretched state? Did I make a horrible mistake? Ah, I only wanted. Larry, right, do you understand now, Archie? Hey, do you finally uh, understand how dangerous your dream turned out to be? Hey, we have to hurry. We have to do something before this situation can gets completely out of control, man. Joanne, uh, we Team Ma Magma are pursuing. T we have been pursuing Team Aqua to prevent this from happening, but uh, you have been very helpful too. I fear the worst has happened, and th this has gone too far. And uh, a child like for your child like you to manage, leave things to us now. Uh, and uh, we'll get out of this. We'll get you out of this situation whilst we still can. Get out of this situation whilst you still can. Uh, this device belief, though, the Super Asian Pokemon, the power is unbelievable. It's unset the balance of nature. Joanne, uh, what is happening? This is terrible. Uh, if uh, this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn, no, all of the world will drown in this huge rain cloud that's spreading over Zootop- that's somehow spreading from Zootopolis. 
Huh? What in the world is taking place there? I have no point in you arguing here. Uh, I must go to Sotopolis to... Uh, Sotopolis should provide answers. Joanne, I don't know what you intend on doing, Mink, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sotopolis. Okay, and um, we will go to Zootopolis too. Who? But first off, let's go to Moss Deep because I need to heal and I don't have anyone who can fly. Also, I don't think I've unlocked Moss. I don't think I've unlocked Zootopolis yet, so it would actually be a really good idea to go back to Moss Deep. I did catch a sp I did catch a spoink when I was grinding a few episodes back. And that's in the bag. I've named that uh, in the PC. I've named that Piggy, and it's level, it was level 26 actually. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually ever use it because you know it's Spoink, it's Grumpig, it's kind of crappy, but you know it's interesting. There really wasn't that many great encounters out here in the water, which is annoying me because the fact is I would have loved some great encounters right now. Can I, like, put up a repel for the moment in time whilst I try and find Zootopolis? Because finding Zootopolis is, like, my number one priority right now. I think I found... I think I know exactly what I'm doing, too. To, uh, find it. I think this is where I need to go. I'm not exactly sure. Oh. Did I find the... I did... I did it again. Wrong dive spot. Sorry, guys. Going back up. Oh. I might actually be in a bit of trouble here. No, no, I know what I'm doing. Okay, fine. I know what I'm doing now. Right dive spot. Okay, cool. And here is the grass for underwater. My repels run off. Cool. This is actually where you'd find lantern in normal game. I want to see what I can get here. Can I get encounters here? There we go. Cacnea. Sorry I had to put on the speed button, but like I just couldn't find... I wasn't finding encounters, so... I decided to speed it up a bit. It's level 23. It's not great. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd come with me. I want to hit you. Actually, I can't hit you. Yeah, I can't hit you. This is one of the things I cannot do right now. I cannot hit you. You're level 23. I'm level 44. There is no way in hell I can hit you. Get in the ball. Thank you, Cagnia. Okay, so Cagnia. What do I want to call you? Uh... I don't know what to call you. I really don't know what to call you. Uh, let's call you... Uh, weedy. Let's call you Weedy. There you go. Just simple Weedy. Uh, Zootopolis is somewhere around here. There it is. There's Zootopolis. I'm getting an account of a Zootopolis who wants to go up. Yeah, so once we go up, we can get an encounter here. Okay, so Zootopolis. Can I get an encounter here? Or do, do encounters only count afterwards? After the disaster's happened? I think encounters may only count once, the dis uh, once we got rid of the disaster. Looking at it. Can I fish? I want to see if I can fish. Oh, damn. I had something then. Right, if I stay quiet for a bit, the reason why is because I'm fishing. I'm trying to concentrate. Kind of moving to get it. Come on. Uh, 
Thank you, finally. Whoa. That's something you don't see every day. Ooh. Can I do anything to you? Would you leave a double kick? Okay, that last one was a crit. But yeah, you lived a double kick. Cool. I think you'll live another one. Oh, can the second one please stop critting? Okay, I don't want to hit you again, and I definitely can't uh, stay in with Queenie. Just in case Queenie decides to... S just decides to kill. Uh, try and get the poison off. Uh, I'm going to enter Boom. If Boom had Thunder Wave, it would be amazing. I'm actually hoping you just hit me physically and get, sta and get static. That'd be awesome right now, if you could get static. So I'm just going to go for the Pokeballs. I kind of want this. Yes, this would be awesome. Get my balls, please. One, two, three. I got a Typlosion. All right, cool. That is awesome. Typlosion obscure, observe obscures itself behind a simmering hazing heat haze heat heat haze it creates with its intentionally hot flames this pokemon creates blazing explosive blasts that burn everything to cinders wow that is amazing anyway uh this is wildfire basically i got this name from jordan uh, aka norfolk gaming and basically, I always will call my, um, I will call him, Af I will always call my Typlosions Wildfire now. I used to call him Blood, but now I call him Wildfire. Wildfire's amazing. Anyway, let's go and heal up, and we're going to take a look at our encounters, and then we're going to stop, and then we're going to take on Kyogre in the next episode. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And today's question of the day, which of course is, what's your favorite lock variant? And let's have a look at the encounters we've got over the past few episodes. So first off, in grinding, I picked up Piggy, which is a spoink, has thick fat for the ability, hasty nature, uh, with odor sleeve, sly beam, psych up, and confuse ray. Then we picked up Weedy outside, we're outside of uh, Zootopolis with Growth, Leech Seed, Pin Missile, and Sand Attack, holding a White Flute, which is rather interesting. Sand Veil for the ability of Calm Nature. Then we have Wildfire, Blaze for the ability with a Careful Nature, uh, not holding any items with Smoke Screen, Ember, Flame Wheel, and Quick Attack. That is our team, Rob. That is our encounters for the past couple episodes. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and in the next episode, we should finally find out what Kyogre is and can we stop it? And maybe we'll be able to use one of our free Master Balls on it. But until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and I am out. See you again. <laughs>